and welcome to my channel. If you like DIYs, farmhouse decor, upcycling, and more, you've come to the right place. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today I'm going to be making a simple wreath. Not your typical wreath, but I'm calling it a wreath. And I'm going to be using embroidery hoops, and for the larger hoop I'm using the outside ring, and I'll be removing the screw from the top because later I'm just going to use a piece of twine to tie that together. And for the smaller embroidery hoop, I'll be using the inside ring. You can use any size embroidery hoops you want to do this, and I'm going to put a link below in the description box to the ones that I got from Amazon, which came in a set of six different size hoops. So I've positioned the smaller hoop inside the larger hoop where I want it, and I'm using a pencil to mark where it touches so that I'll know where to put the glue. I'm using a combination of Fabri-Tac and hot glue. Fabri-Tac is for the long lasting permanent hold and the hot glue is for the quick hold. By the way, you can use any size hoops and you can position the smaller hoop anywhere you want inside the larger hoop. Once the glue is dry, I'm going to take it outside and spray it with Krylon Stone Texture Paint just to give it some texture. And then after that dries, I'm going to be painting over it with this Rust-Oleum matte white paint. It was tempting to let some of that stone color show through, but then I decided to go with solid white. Okay, now I have this painted front and back. You don't have to paint the back if you don't want to. But now it's time to start decorating it, and I'm going to show you some of the things that I'm going to be using today. So one of them is these beautiful dried flowers from Coca Rosa. Just take a whiff of those. Oh my gosh, they smell so good. Yeah, I wish you could smell it. You know, like smell-o-vision. <laughs> and I'm going to be using this stick from my yard. And I hope this doesn't freak you out. But I'm going to be using this butterfly, and it is a real butterfly that I've just sprayed Krylon Sealer on. And no, I did not kill it. I actually took that out of the grill of my husband's semi-truck, and I wanted to use it. And I'm also going to be using this messy bow that I made. And I am not going to do a tutorial on this because I do have CMC joint issues. And for that same reason, I have already put these flowers together. Instead of you getting to watch me do that, I am so sorry, but when these are in this packaging, by the way, they're just all fluffed out. I've got them all squished together here, but you really do get a lot of flowers in here and I'm going to put a link below because Coca Rosa has I think about 20 different collections that you can choose from and this is just one of them and they're so beautiful. So I just want to keep things natural with these being real dried flowers, this being a stick from my yard and this being a real butterfly. So I'm going to be playing some music while I'm putting this together and I hope you enjoy.
To be honest with you, I am not sure that that butterfly is going to work. It almost fell apart while I was trying to put it on there. So I may have to replace that with a die cut butterfly, which will just break my heart, but we'll see how that goes. So there it is, it is finished, and I'll go put this on the wall so you can see it. I hope you like this quick and simple wreath, and there will be links below in the description box to those gorgeous dried flowers from Coca Rosa, as well as a 15% off discount code should you decide to shop there. Coming up next is the messy bow tutorial. Happy crafting, everyone! To make a messy bow, you are going to need several pieces of ribbon, and you can use any length ribbon you want, you can use any width ribbon that you want, and you can use as many pieces of ribbon as you want. But what you want to do is start with the widest ribbon on the bottom and work your way up to the smallest or the skinniest ribbon on the top and you're going to want to fan them out like you're seeing right here. Now I've used a variety of ribbon here. Some of it is wire edged, some of it is not, and that's up to you. But you can pick up a ribbon at the Dollar Tree and all kinds of ribbon, really nice ribbon. And um, some of mine is from the Dollar Tree, some of mine is just some scraps that I had. But I've got them all laid out. I have used six pieces of ribbon for mine, and they are six inches long. So I've already got them layered and fanned out. And you're going to want to have on hand either a twist tie or um, a zip tie or something like that. I prefer to use a twist tie. And then I also have another piece of ribbon that I'm going to be tying around it. So what I'm going to do is first of all turn this toward myself a little bit so I can see what I'm doing better. Okay, and I'm just going to grab it right here in the middle. See where the, the middle is right there? So it's kind of like a bow already. Okay, you're going to grab that in the middle and you're just going to pinch it. Okay, and this is actually really hard for me. I was not going to do this tutorial and I changed my mind. So let me get this all pinched the way I want it because I want to make sure that that skinny little pink ribbon on the front shows. I'm going to grab my twist tie and I'm going to wrap that around to the back and twist it very tightly like so. And there it is. I'm just going to kind of spread things out here a little bit. And, well, there we go. I want to make sure everything is kind of showing here. And there is your bow. And then that's what this piece here is for because I'm just going to wrap this around so that you don't see that on the front. And I'm just going to go ahead and tie this in the back. And then you get to cut the ends however you want to cut them. Whether you want to cut them with the little um, little dovetail ends or whether you, you know, to do that you would just bend it in half like so and then cut from that corner, the outer corner to the inside and that would create the dovetail bows or you can just cut them at an angle or you can leave them the way they are. But that is how easy it is to make these cute little messy bows. If you like this video, I hope you give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, I hope you consider that too. And if you do, be sure to click the little bell next to the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos or giveaways. And I hope you stop by Crafters Castle on Facebook and also Crafters Castle Challenge Blog to enter your creations.